So what have cold showers taught me about life? Well, cold showers are something that I've been off and on with for a long time, and I've just gotten into a, a routine of doing one every morning. Uh, basically, first thing that I do when I wake up is take a cold shower. And I got into those from Wim Hof, who, you know, I've done the breath work with him and, and cold exposure stuff. And uh, if you haven't uh, seen anything from Wim Hof, check him out. He's, he's, to me, one of the most enlightened people on the planet. And he talks about the cold being his teacher. He went through some traumatic things. He was married with four kids and his wife committed suicide and he was in despair and he had to take care of his kids, you know, and, and he didn't know how to go on without the love of his life. And he went through all different sorts of things to try to get him to, you know, uh, understand the bigger picture on things, you know, I guess God in a sense. And he said that the cold was his teacher because he had to ultimately surrender to the cold. And that's what I have started to do and realize that that's not just, a me, you know, how I get through the cold, because when I hold on real tight and I'm, oh, I just want to, I just want to get out of here. I don't, I don't feel good. I don't get into this calm state. I don't get to relax. I don't feel good in it. I'm just gritting my teeth through it, you know, clenching my fists through it. And that's not the way that you want to respond to the cold. You can take those first big deep breaths, but then you get into the point where you just relax and then you can stay in that thing all day and it actually feels good. Well, if you're going through life with clenched fists and gritted teeth and you're forcing your way into things because it's your way, or in this case, it's my way. I want to have influence on this. I want things to go my way. I want to do this. I want to do that. Well, for me, I might be able to get away with that in a short period of time. I might be able to have some success with things my way, but it never works out for me the, in the end. And recently I've just basically given my will over to God. And I've just said, you take the reins, whatever you want me to do, I'll, I'll do it. And it takes pressure off knowing that I don't have to make all of these decisions that God's going to help find me, um, you know, find uh, avenues for me and, and, and show me the way. But it's not always great because sometimes he'll say something to me that I might not want to do. And when I say God, you know, I'm just talking about higher power. It, it can be God. It can be whatever it is that you find your higher power. But what I'm saying is, is there's something bigger than me that guides me. When I try to think that I'm God, when I try to think that I'm in control, my ego gets in the way of me actually having a good life. Like I said, I might have a couple good moments. I might have a couple good years, but it always ends in despair. And I've been in this cycle over and over and over again. And I got to a low point in my life and maybe I'll share more about that. And I just said, you know, I think that enough is enough. You know, one of the things that I, I hear is, is your low point is, is as far as you want to dig it's that's the bottom bottom is whenever you want to stop digging and i just got sick of digging and i got sick of you know uh, uh, uh screwing things up for myself and maybe having a couple good moments and then screwing it up and having a couple of good years and then screwing it up and it's not to say that i'm going to have a perfect life but the way that i respond to it just like the way that i respond to that cold is one with much more peace. And that's really what I want in my life is this peace. And that's what giving everything over to God has done for me. Yeah, maybe I don't want to do exactly what he says. And it's challenging for me to follow through on some of those things. But when I take that pressure off and I don't have to play God myself, I can let the higher power do that for me. I'm in a much more sense of peace. And there's still challenges, there's still, you know, bad days, but I'm not in control of the reins and it's freeing, but I've had to surrender to that. And it's something that I want to practice. And that's why I take these cold showers every morning to help me surrender to God's will. So I surrender to the cold in that moment. And then it just, when that relaxation hits, it's like, this is what it's for. If I just, again, if I just grit through it, I can get through a cold shower, but I won't get this benefit of peace and joy. And that's what happens when I get, when I get out of a cold shower, I feel great. That's why I love starting the day with it because it's just like, oh yes. But that's like life too. If I grit and grind, I might be able to get some results, but I'm not going to be 
joyous about it. I'm not going to enjoy it. I'm not going to be, I have a sense of peace in my life. When I say, all right, I surrender to your will, God, whatever you want me to do. And I do something, let's just say it's something I really didn't want to do. It's really challenging, apologizing to someone, you know, admitting that I was wrong, uh, 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 you know, working on something when I just want to play. I feel so much better. There's a sense of peace that comes over me. And that's really what I want in my life. I don't know what you want in your life, but that's something that I've learned from cold showers. It's the art of surrendering. And that's taught me to do that on the grand scheme of life as well. See you next time.